Welcome everyone to our Power A-Team call. As you can see, there's a number of sites coming in from pretty much all over North America and into Europe as well. We wanna welcome everyone. We wanna welcome the guests who are in the uh, rooms at the various locations. We, my name is Mike DiMuccio, I'm a Nikon Royal Diamond. I have been for a very long time. I'm happy to be and I'm still grateful for every minute of every day of my life because it's an amazing life that this opportunity has enabled me to live. We're ready to go, so I'd like to have Susan Carver, would you please join us? Tell us your personal success story. Uh, I've known you for, gosh, I can't even remember how many years. It's gotta be coming up on 20 years at least. Almost 20, it's almost wow. 20. Wow, amazing. Tell us your story. Okay, well first of all, thank you for everyone that's watching and thank you for inviting me. I'll keep this very brief. I, uh, I don't have an exciting story. Mike DiMuccio, the, the uh, gentleman who's on the, uh, the hosting this call is an aerospace engineering degree. I was a political science major and I had Disney at about a $7.25 an hour employee on my resume and some odd jobs here and there. So I don't have a great resume, um, but I think that's why people like my story because they're like, well, if she can do this, you know, she didn't have an MBA, she never owned her own business. She wasn't worth millions before she got in this. She didn't know a lot of people. So they're like, well, if this lady can do it, maybe, maybe I can. But how that went, Mike, was um, I graduated from college. Uh, like most smart young people, you move back in with mom to save money because you're unemployed. And I got a job at Disney for $7.25 an hour. And I, I, I was very unhappy there. And I saw people that were moving up the ladder and uh, they'd been there 10, 15, 20 years, and they had nothing to show for it. They weren't happy, and they weren't making good money, and they didn't have free time. So why would I want to keep that ladder and climb up that wall if the people up there at the top, 10, 15 years ahead of me, don't have anything that I desire? So I moved out to California. It's a long story how I got out there, but I moved out to California and in another miserable position, going nowhere, no future, and someone invited me to take a look at this Japanese company called Niken. And I really went to be polite. That was the, that was the whole thing of me coming in was to uh, be polite. So that's what I did. I uh, came and actually learned like some of you that are watching this video or some of you that are, are live. And I said, you know, I need to get educated. I don't have a great life right now. I need to get educated. And I know Japanese are very smart. So if this is a Japanese company and they're looking for business partners, not customers, because I'd been a customer of a Toyota, I'd been a customer of a Honda and a Sony, et cetera, but I'd never been sitting on the other side of the table as in business with the Japanese and actually marketing something. I wanted to get educated on what that was all about. And so that's what I did. I came and got educated, fell in love with the products, uh, got started, kept my menial job, uh, and started to move forward. But the most bi valuable piece of information before I finish up is the fact that I heard something that changed my life, that there's only three ways to make money. I'd never heard this in college at all, never heard it from anyone I knew. There's only three systems to earn money. Number one is to trade your time for money. Number two is invest money to make money. And number three is to leverage your time and efforts through others to make money. Well, I had always worked on trading my time for money and that strategy wasn't working. It really doesn't work for a lot of people, even people that make 60 and $80,000 a year, they've got a decent American income, but then they don't have the time. So it was, a, it was very valuable for me to know that you can either work at McDonald's, you can invest in McDonald's stock, or you can own a McDonald's. And it's pretty a no-brainer to know which one of those people earns the most money, because they've got 40 employees working an average of 30 hours a week, so that's 1,200 hours a week, and they're on their boat or their yacht. I mean, you never see the owner of McDonald's, Mike, asking if you want fries with that. Why? Because they've got a system in that M3 or Money 3 that's really working well. So I didn't have $1.5 million to buy a McDonald's franchise or any type of franchise. I had less than $5,000 to my name uh, when I first looked at this. But I got some samples. I got educated, and I said, I can bring Nikon into that that third strategy, that same McDonald's strategy of having others working uh, uh, for me, I can leverage my time and I can create some income more than me just putting all the effort in myself. And I didn't have the money to participate in M2 because it, it takes money to, to make money. 
So I didn't have $400,000 to put in a smart investment and have it turn, you know, 450 by the end of the year. I, I, those options, those doors were all closed to me. So I love the fact that Niken, this Japanese company, is affordable. So, I, so an M1 person can get into it and then go ahead but play and build an M3 strategy. So I kept my dead end job, but I started putting my e few hours in the evenings. I put in maybe five to 10 hours a week, little by little. And uh, after that, uh, it was like rabbits. I had no rabbits, and then I started with two rabbits, and then I had four rabbits and 10, and those people started talking to other people that started talking to other people. And now today, just to bring you full circle, to finish up, um, I've got 10,000 people in my organization. And I personally talked to three myself that were very serious about this, but it's all multiplied. So the M3 strategy, that third way to make money, if you're not happy with the way your financial situation and your time situation is going, then you need not so much blame yourself, but look at the strategy that you're in. And if you change strategies, you give yourself a chance. So uh, 10,000 distributors, uh, more than seven countries. And today, just to say goodbye, the irony, Mike, life is very funny, right? The irony is I've got former Disney, no, current Disney employers, employees that are landscaping my property. They are ripping out the grass. They are doing the whole shebang out there. They are doing, demolishing everything, right? Here's the kicker. Uh, this project is costing one third of my annual salary that I used to make at Disney. Just today, in one day, I will spend more money than I, than I earned in, in, in what, um, five month, four months working at Disney, and I'm spending it in one day, and I've got it. And I had the time to go pick out the plants, do the design, go to nursery to nursery, go get the pavers, go get the fence. I had the time and I had the money. So that's what's so exciting after all these years. And that's the gift that we're offering people. Well, it's Susan, before you, before you it'll work. get away from us, I have a question for you. Okay. Hindsight is twenty twenty. Yes. If you had your first 90 days in Niken to do over again, what would you do different or what would you do the same? Okay, what I would do the same is I correctly capitalize in my business. I have made every mistake. I mean, there's not a rule book in Nikon, but I have broken every rule in Nikon except one. I properly capitalized my business. I got out of Mr. Visa, Mr. MasterCard, whatever it was all those years ago. And I made sure that I had products that I could put on people, that I could use myself, that I kept clean for demonstration. And I went out and, and saw the people. So the thing that I did right that I wouldn't change um, now is I capitalized. I didn't undercapitalize my business. Uh, your products in this company are the tools that drive it. So you want to have a one cylinder or a 50 cylinder, depends on the kind of products you get. The things that I did not do correctly is I didn't see enough people in that 90 degree period. When you see more people in a shorter amount of time, the explosion, just like water, if you're running water through this, okay, X amount of water, right? But if you move it to this, it's going to be more powerful of a, of a flow than, than coming out like this. And so I would have intensified that. I would have, in 90 days, I would have probably gotten in front of or made a goal to get in front of at least 60 to 90 people. And that probably would have made me a million dollars that I'll never see because I didn't do that in the beginning. Um, you know, a couple million dollars has come. I'm very grateful. My return on investment has been amazing. But if I had it to do all over again, if I had taken those 90 days and squeezed the amount of people that I saw in a year and squeezed it more into a uh, 90 day period, the results probably would have been at least 30% more income or more. I don't want to think about more um, <laughs> that I'll never get. So thanks, Mike. I was having a good day. Here. <laughs> just go out and sp spend some more money. Yeah, I'll just go get some more plants. All right. yeah. Thanks for Thank your, you. thanks for sharing your story. Susan. My pleasure. Thanks for having Wonderful. me.